Minecraft is one of the world's most popular video games and it's also one of the most easily modded. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about what you can do if your Minecraft is stuck on an infinite loading screen. One of the first things that you need to do is to fire up your task manager so you can do that by right clicking your start menu icon and then clicking the task manager option from there once task manager opens up uh, what you need to do is go through your background processes or any apps that you have open and find any open instances of minecraft so you can just press m on your keyboard and as you can see it will sort all processes running with m on my system as you can see there is no minecraft uh, currently running but if there were um, instance of minecraft running you could just select it click on end task and close all instances of minecraft this way because if uh, an instance of minecraft is running it's probably stuck in the background then uh, you will not be able to relaunch minecraft again and the launcher might just get stuck on the loading screen so this is one of the first things that you should try out moving on it's also a good idea to check and see if you can uh, get some sort of a server status for minecraft so just fire up your web browser google minecraft server status and you will see a bunch of websites that report minecraft outages and server status information and so on and so forth so um, as you can see uh, right now official minecraft servers seem to be up and running without any problems if you have a bedrock server you can just go ahead and tap uh, click the bedrock server option and uh, then you've got other minecraft servers for both bedrock and java editions here as well so just to make sure that minecraft services are up and running uh, if you're trying to connect to a particular minecraft server you can use mcstatus.io where you can just type in the server address for example you just type in demo.mcstatus.io press enter and uh, you will get uh, the entirety of the server status how many players there are so on and so forth so check to make sure that the server you're trying to connect to is actually online moving on it's also a good idea to check and see if there are any controllers or any pedals attached to your system sometimes uh, minecraft especially java edition may not play very well with controllers or third party control options anything other than your keyboard and mouse and having them connected can sometimes cause minecraft to freeze so make sure that you go ahead and disconnect any such peripherals moving on uh, it's a good idea to check your minecraft launcher for updates now you can do that by using the my windows store so press the start menu on your uh, display and let's search for microsoft store this will fire up the Microsoft Store and in here I'm just going to search for Minecraft Launcher. Once you find the launcher page, open it up and if you say see play here, that means your Minecraft Launcher is updated. Uh, if you say an update button, then that means you're most likely out of date and uh, you should update your Minecraft Launcher before you proceed with it. If updating does not fix the issue, you can also try repairing or resetting your Minecraft launcher. Now to do that, right click your uh, Windows icon and then click on installed apps. This will open up Windows settings on your PC. And in here we can just search for Minecraft launcher. Then click on these three dots to the right. Click on advanced options scroll down all the way and you will see uh, a reset and a repair option now uh, you can go through both of them so if your app isn't working correctly we can try and repair it so as you can see this bar appears wait for this bar to be full and you'll see a check mark there that means it has been repaired now try launching microsoft launcher if it doesn't work you can go ahead and reset it as well you may have to log into your microsoft uh, or minecraft account again The next thing you can try is launching uh, your Minecraft launcher with administrative permissions. So if I open up the start menu and search for Minecraft launcher, you will see a run as administrator option to the right. Go ahead and click on it. 
Windows will ask you for some permissions and it should fire up the Minecraft launcher right without any problems. So as you can see my Minecraft launcher is going through some small updates and uh, it should open up just fine. Yep, here we go. So um, now we can go ahead and play Minecraft as you usually would. If that doesn't work either, it could be a problem with your PC's date and time settings. How do you check that? Well, press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings. Head over to system and then scroll all the way down uh, to about or you can just search for date and time settings click on uh, the date and time settings option uh, in here you can see that i have set the time zone automatically i recommend you go ahead and do that as well because you don't have to manually manage time and date zones on your pc but if this is off uh, but if this is uh, enabled and uh, your time still isn't right go ahead and click on the sync now button right here under additional settings which will synchronize your time with the windows time server that doesn't work as well you can simply toggle the set time zone automatically and set time automatically options and select your time and date manually and that should help fix the problem moving on if you can't launch minecraft properly it could be a problem caused by third-party launchers like t launcher or curse forge so just go make sure you go ahead and uninstall those before proceeding uninstalling is also rather easy just press windows key plus i to open up windows settings head over to apps click on installed apps and just uh, search for any third-party launches that you may have installed in my case i have t launcher installed on my system so just go ahead and click on these three dots then click on the uninstall button windows will ask you if you're sure that you want to go ahead and uninstall your uh, app or your launcher go ahead and click on uninstall restart your pc and then try launching minecraft again moving on you can try and check the windows update xbox and microsoft store services now to check these things uh, press the start menu and search for services open up the services window and now as you can see here there are a bunch of options for you to play around with now uh, you just need to find uh, a few services in this list so for example uh, the windows update service you will find it in windows here so as you can see the windows update service is running the xbox uh, live auth manager xbox live game save and xbox live networking services these are all also running as uh, they should uh, only the live auth manager needs to be running because it provides authentication and authorization uh, because your game the minecraft installation actually talks to xbox uh, live for account syncing so this is the one that you need to make sure it is really running and uh, then microsoft store services for any updates that you might have missed so uh, we'll go to microsoft uh, you will see microsoft store install service make sure this is running as well if any of these services aren't running you can just right click and uh, click the resume or the start button as you can see the service is already running so the start button is grayed out if i go to a service that's not running i can manually start it here Last but not least, you can also try updating your Windows installation. Now to do this, press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings and head over to the Windows update section. Uh, as you can see, I do have the latest updates installed, but you can go ahead and check for updates. And if there are any updates available, make sure to go ahead and install them right away. Once you're done, you can restart your PC and try launching Minecraft again. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.